And good evening, everybody, or good afternoon, wherever you are joining us. Uh, thanks for joining us for another live stream on YouTube. Um, tonight, we will be looking at the video which uh, conversation took place at Speaker's Corner a couple of weeks ago and uh, kind of try to see what is happening behind the Arabics once again. Uh, can you please uh, let us know if you can, if sound is clear and if everything is all fine uh, from your side. I'm taking silent is as no. So we will have Daniel who will be joining us. Uh, um, very soon. It's usually Daniel's bedtime by now, but he should be joining us very soon. And also we do have a guest speaker who is going to help us with the um, Arabic. Since as a Christian, we don't know Arabic and according to Muslims, therefore we cannot comment on Arabic. Um, God provide us Arabic speaker who is going to just look at what's happening in the world of Arabic. Um, sister? Uh, good evening, Masa al Khair, everyone. Uh, I'm the uh, Arab sister joining. Hope everyone's okay. You okay, Hatun? I'm good, thank you. How was your day, sister? It was very well, thank you. And yours? Good, good, thank you. Praise God that um, another day we had a chance to um, leave, uh, leave for Yahweh. We had another chance to get to know him and worship him. So we are always grateful for that. Um, can I just ask a question? If you are happy and you are giving your permission to be recorded for this live stream, sister? Yes, I give my permission to be recorded for the live stream. Thank you. I'm sorry, I have to ask that because um, people start complaining about their privacy. No, that's okay. Um, so can I just get um, go through a quick Arabic check for us? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you go to uh, online Quran and then read it in Arabic for us? Surah 33 from verse 54 to 58. Can you do that, sister? 33? Surah 33 verse 54 to 58. Um, can you read it in Arabic so we know that you do read Arabic? And then I will ask you to um, let us know if you can speak Arabic. Reading Arabic is different than speaking and understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have the verses in front of me. Uh, 33, verse 54. Uh, in shay'an aw fa shay'in alima. La alayhinna fi abaihinna wa la abnaihinna wa la ولا أبناء إخوانهن ولا أبناء أخواتهن ولا نسائهن ولا ما ملكت أيمانهن واتقين الله إن الله كان على كل شيء شهيدا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما Yeah, thank you very much sister and Daniel Yes sister Good evening brother, how are you? Yeah, good, good. How are you? Good. You are five minutes, four minutes late, but you are here. Yes, I'm here, yeah. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> Sister Navino, you can read Arabic. Mm -hmm. Can you just tell us in Arabic mm -hmm. um, what is your top reason that today you are Christian? Rabbi Yesu al-Masih khallasni min... So I just said that um, the Lord Jesus Christ, he saved me from my sins and from perishing uh, in hell. Okay, I think that established that you can read Arabic, you can speak Arabic and you can communicate Arabic. Mm -hmm. Daniel, would you, would you agree with me? Yes, I do. Okay. I don't know Arabic, but... It sounds like uh, yeah. Sound, sound look like we have someone who does speak Arabic, who understands Arabic, and she doesn't only read Arabic and doesn't understand what she's saying, but she can communicate in Arabic. 
because the video we are gonna watch is uh, Muslims are again challenging us bring any Arabic speaker. Okay, so this is oh, dear. that part. Okay. Um, so before I just um, start, um, for those of you who are watching us online, if you do have it, any direct question regarding the topic which we are going to look at, topic is, um, you will see from the debate regarding um, does Allah pray or Allah praises and what is the Arabic word for that in Islamic tradition? <coughs> question on that topic, please um, use the uh, sign at and then write this is the ministries so that your comment or your question will come to our attention. And also uh, those brothers and sisters who are helping on the moder moderating the chat. Um, so we encourage people to have their freedom of speech, uh, but that doesn't mean they are there to slander everyone. Uh, so after people get their warnings, uh, you can kind of t time them out if that's what you are doing because I did receive the email you were timing people out without telling them or without giving them warning. So we tell them if they continue to do that, they will be timed out. Therefore, you time them out. That's just for practical things. Um, Daniel? Yes. Um, you are okay to be recorded? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. I don't want someone to complain that Daniel didn't give his permission to be recorded. Yeah. Okay. No problem. So, I am. I am okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. So um, I did put the um, a video link. The video we are going to look at today is on the YouTube, um, on the description of the video. Um, uh, so now mm. I'm going to kind of play a little bit part of this video and then we take it from there. And then see how it's gonna go. Yeah. Okay. Can you please let me know if you can see my screen? I can see. Yes, we can. I can see. Daniel, you I'm sure you are because we are on the hangouts. And Daniel, remember you are the bridge between YouTube and us, okay? Yeah, yeah, I understand. You are very good, Bridge, as always. Okay, so let's watch the video and then we start talking about it. So we are so the uh, I think the video on YouTube is been titled Dawatim is hunting for the hadith. Mm -hmm. Um so we are gonna watch the video from minute three to minute fifteen, and then we'll see um what's gonna happen. I will be um, stopping in the meantime as we speak. <laughs> so the word sali in Arabic, it, it's, it's, kind of, it's a verb that depends on the thing that's being described. For instance, if I say that I pray. Yeah, that could mean I make dua. I pray in the sense that Muslims pray that they need whatever. It could mean that I ask for supplication. So it has an array of meanings. When when it's replied, when it's applied to the, the angels, it has a different meaning. So in the, in the case of the angels, it means supplication. In the case of Allah. That when that same word is used, it means blessings, salutations, blessings. So, Let me respond to that. And, and the evidence behind that, and the evidence, remember before we were talking about, like, how do we know what the Arabic language is, and how can we prove that what I'm saying is true, for example, in Arabic language. So I said to you that we have to look at the pre-Islamic time. We also have to look at 300 years after Islam. So in other words, from, because the Prophet died at about eight, 11 uh, AH, so about 300 AH. So when we look at that, we find that in the poetry that's used, the word salli, when it's applied to Allah, even in non-religious contexts, it means uh, 
praise and blessing blessings when i say praise i'm talking about praising i'm not talking about praying okay so that, i think that should we can just quit okay so that is the first part overall um dawati is telling us um in surah 33 verse 56 that was the verse we are talking about when the verb is used for Allah or for other subjects, meaning does change from one to other. So, um, I need to find a way to stop the share the screen. Stop. Okay. Um, sister, mm -hmm. do you mind going to Arabic version of the Surah 33 verse 56 for us to just remember? I don't mind. I'm just sharing the screen. Yeah, I've got it here. Okay. So, uh, so can you just read it Arabic for us? In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-nabi ya ayyuha al-ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslimu. Okay. In the first part, okay, so you are Arabic speaker. As you can see, I can't even speak English. Daniel's English is much better than me. So as an Arabic speaker, mm -hmm. um, can you just point out to me the verb used in the first half of the sentence where it talks about Allah and the angels? Yeah, I'm pointing to it and it's gone a little green. Yeah. Yusallun. Okay. Yusallun. It means to pray. Okay. Uh, can I can I carry on talking or? Uh, yeah, let me just ask kind of, since like, you know, like I'm just trying to learn English. Okay. and trying to figure out the arabic i just need to ask you those basic questions yeah so you've got the verb mm -hmm. and then also you've got two subjects i think you call them in english subject angel and allah yeah. two subjects allah and Malay. Yeah. Allah. Okay. so where is the second verb do you have the second verb in the first part second word yeah second verb where it says like um to pray Mm -hmm. Have you got a um, verb called blessing in the first part of the verse? There's only one verb. So only the... one verb and there are two subjects. Correct. Okay. So um, as an Arabic speaker, which we confirmed earlier that you speak and understand Arabic, can you <clears throat> tell us what is that green word which you highlighted? Yusallun. It means to pray. I've got an Arabic and a uh, dictionary here i've got it here you salon can you see yep i can see it what does it say here in the english they pray there you go okay simple as okay can so go to that arabic part again uh, uh, go to that arabic dictionary so can you also write for me if it wanted to say allah bless Oh, sorry, praise. If it if it's supposed to be praise, okay. Daniel, can you Daniel? Can you spell praise? Uh, P R yeah, A I S E. Hamd. Yeah. Different verb. It means he praised. You want to do it in the in the uh, plural? Yeah. Ahmedun. Okay. So that's so that's very very different than what we just saw. Mm. It's a different verb. It's a different verb because it's a different meaning. Like simple, simple. <laughs> okay, I was I was just checking. Sometimes maybe verbs are different, but it really means the same thing. You know, that's very common thing. It happens. Uh, in not, Arabic. Not, not in this case. Not in this okay. Case. Okay. So now we have. Let's go back to the verse, and then can you just explain us what is it happening in that verse as you are Arabic speaker? Uh, Allah and his angels are praying upon the Prophet. Okay. Um, but Dawatim was just the video we watched. Dawatim was telling us mm -hmm. the verb changes mm -hmm. according to who is practicing that action, according to the door of the word. Uh, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Um, are you sure? <laughs> if I say I speak, I'm the doer, right? And then yeah. I change that to Hatun speaks. That does that change the speaking to reading or writing? It's still the same verb. 
just because the doer is different doesn't mean the verb is different. And because um, it's obviously, it's obvious, we don't have to prove it, but since we're in the crazy world of the Dawah team, I've got a grammar book here. Okay. And can you see the screen? Yes. Can you see the Dua? Yeah. Yeah. Ultimate Arabic or Arabic 101. The Dua is the Fa'il. I've highlighted for you. What does it say? It just means whoever made the action happen. Nowhere here does it say if you change the doer, the, the verb changes. If you change the subject. If you change the subject or the, the fair, that it changes it. Not at all, not at all. I challenge okay. anyone to show me anywhere from any grammar book of any era saying to you, if you change the subject, you change the verb. Or if you change the doer, you change the verb. Um, will I be correct to just point it out within like first point we are just looking on the video um, mm -hmm. that um, Dawah team is intentionally lying? Um, I've honestly I've watched that video I've never seen so many lies done with such um, a, a blank you know a, a straight face in my life. <laughs> okay, okay. Do, I'm, do sorry. I'm sorry that you do not attend the speaker's corner because it is a very common face at speakers' yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah. It's like I'm in the twilight zone. You know? Okay, yeah. so there, there is something intentionally done, yeah. and which is wrong. In Arabic, um, if uh, in, uh, in Arabic, work doesn't change for the, for the one who is practicing the action. Correct. And if I can, yes, yes. And if I can just make a point, the the the. Um, a translation is a bit deceptive as well because it does say send blessing but actually ask any arabs he says ask any arab speaker from the street um same verb we've showed it in the dictionary it doesn't say send blessing does it yeah so we do have um four different translations uh -huh. and in those four different translations the word has been translated as the prey yeah. and there are over 100 english translation of the quran and in lots of translation, it is just word salat there. Absolutely. Yeah. Can, can I just say th something? The Arabic language is so rich with verbs. I just showed you the one that to say praise. Why couldn't Allah just, if he meant something else, give you another verb? I, I mean, I thought I thought the Quran is meant to be a miracle of the Arabic language. Has, it is. Has the miracle of the language run out of words? It is. It is. Um, That's the miracle. Daughter, yeah. Let me just say something. Daughter of Christ uh, says here um, so a guy called Marshall. Uh -huh. He said it means sense blessings. Yeah. One word can mean multiple things in Arabic. What do you uh, say to that? I say look in a dictionary like we just did. Mm. Let me let me put it again. Marshall, listen. Can you see you solli you solli. There's oh there's the multiple meanings here. Pray, say a prayer, worship. Mm. Do, you see, do you see anything else? I mean, I can't. You know, do you see anything yeah, else? I can see. We, did, we did have a couple of videos about this that um uh, uh like just kind of look at the what how did people understood mm. at the time of Muhammad, mm. and uh, we noticed uh, Muhammad. Mm. Sahabais and Allah mm. uh, did not have any problem for Allah to pray for Muhammad. But 21st century Muslims and mm. Dawatim does have a problem with that. Therefore, we, we do look at the Arabic. So in this video, we just mainly want to uncover yeah. or give another hijab yeah. or, or scarf to Dawatim for them to cover up their shame. Because <laughs> Dawah the, team, the, um, the brother we are watching, he's called Mohammed Hijab. <coughs> he comes from Arabic speaker country. Yeah, yeah, so do, I. So do I. I. He does know Arabic. So that is intentional. If it is not lying, it is deceiving. But there is something wrong and it is how about, intentional. How about he, did, he didn't know? Would you give him the benefit of the doubt? Saying uh, no, no. I, no, I wouldn't because um, I've watched the whole video and um, no. Well, where, is, where, is, where is your grace and your nice Christianity? You know? Daniel, uh, 
we we are we are people who stand under God's grace. Yeah. Mm. But when we see people who are intentionally not only deceiving non-Muslims, also mm. intentionally deceiving their own ummah, their own brothers and sisters, which affects their eternity, I am afraid to tell you, like, they need God's grace. For them to receive God's grace, all they've got to do is repent. All they've got to do is repent and understand what Lord Jesus did on the cross yep. for them. Yep. <coughs> um, we have a Skype caller. Sorry? We have a Skype caller. Yeah, I'm just going to, sorry, I'm just going to turn that Skype. Okay, it's, it's just off already. Um, okay, so that was the first part of the um, video we did look at it. Mm -hmm. um, now, I'm just, I'm going to share the second part. Um, uh, sister, can you stop sharing the screen? Yeah. Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, I need to share the screen. Okay, now let's go from here. Let, let, let me respond. First of all, thank you for confirming that angels are making the dua. And you spot Allah. Can you please pray? Because in that sentence, it, why not? Doesn't he bring his ears to speak a scholar? Daniel, don't insult him. He brings his ears to speak a scholar. So, <laughs> Surah 33, verse 56. How many Yasaluno is used in that verse? We have Allah. I don't know. There is only one. Okay, there is only one. Versus two objects or subjects. So when is when that change happens, what can it change mean? It's the same word. That is only one word. One. You get the question. He did get the question. Come on, guys. That's Allah is angels. Salluna ala Allah says, Ya you are the name. Sallu ala. Sallu is that. They are looking at the first one. Just we are focusing on the first one. First one. Allah and His angels. The one is that. Angels and Allah are praying. Okay. 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 And angels, okay. So, how come it changes? Yeah, that's that's why is it changes. Changes. That's, that's that is one word, two it subjects. Why does it change? Why the meaning change when it's both? So, is it the same? Yeah. Yeah. Allah yeah. and yeah. angels yeah. are yeah. the same. Are they the same? Yeah. It's what Allah and the angels um, do the same. Are they intentionally? Are they oh, okay. intentionally? No, Answer, Congratulations! You got the all right. To universal no, doesn't matter, doesn't answer the question. Okay. So, as I said to you before, when the word is used, let me give you another example, okay? Don't give us the example. So, the so, the provide, answer, the pro <coughs> come on, answer the question and yeah. come so, up. So, Luna, when it's applied to Allah, it means something different to when, it, when it's applied to the angels. And when does it say that in the Quran? Yes, that's how the Arabic word, how how word how language works. So, for example, why you doing it? We use the same I'll word. I'll tell you. Exactly. Word. I'll tell you. Exactly. I'll tell you. Okay, let, let me break it down. So let, let me just break something can down. Question? Can I answer his question? Sure, answer his question and I'm going to break down something yeah. for you. Yeah, he says according, according to who, yeah. right? So let me give you an easy uh, example. The Quran says, Umayn yalghabu amilati ibrahim illa masafi nafsi. Whoever, Yarhab, yeah, and Ibrahim, uh, and who, who, whoever goes against the way of Ibrahim, except for the one who has uh, become foolish, yeah, the word used here is Yarhab. <laughs> but when the same word is used in other contexts, it means Yarhab means to like something. 
And so, so the, the same word is used, but the, the context determines. This is the so context. This is the same verse. He asked a good question. Yeah, but you haven't told me. I'm going to keep going against the Quran. I'm going to keep going against the Quran. You said Luna changes. So he asked a good question. So that's one word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to give us some of the things. No, I understand. But you need to have a preamble. As to how the Arabic language works. So here's the thing. Quran is well explained. Okay, fine. You have to have a preamble. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell me that you salute? Yeah. 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 Let me. Yeah. One, yeah. Sorry. Let me. Can make. Can, let me make a point. Yeah. I'm gonna make a point. Something yeah. which will be helpful to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Quran is well detailed, well explained. There is no contradiction in it. Quran is given to man who cannot read and write. Quran is given to man who couldn't even identify the voice of Allah. Are you trying to tell us Allah didn't know the knowledge of Arabs in seventh century, and then He made everyone so confused? He put one word in one sentence. Yet put, do you call them subject or object? Allah. So put two subject and one word, and then expected in twenty first century people to just understand that word changes from one person to other person. While well detailed, well explained, while Muhammad had no problem for Allah to pray. So, no, no explain, explain. Right. so the Arabic word, the Arabic language, like for example the word Yarghabu or you word Yusalli or otherwise Amara, Amara, Yamru, which means to give, in, in its base form means to give imperative command. It depends on the context in order for it to be explained. Oh, That's give me the context. No, no. So, so in other words, what I'm saying is that depending on who the fa'al is, because you have in Arabic language you have fa'al, fa'al, which is the verb, and the fa'al, which is the doer, right? Depending on who the fa'al is, the one who is the doer, the word itself takes a different meaning. So that's my premise. My premise is in the Arabic language, and I can give you examples of that in the Quran, I can give you examples of that before the Quran, I can give you examples after the Quran, that one verb, depending on who the fa'al or the doer is, can change its meaning. Now, for you to move forward in this conversation with me, you have to disprove my premise. You have to disprove the fact that one verb in the Arabic language can take a different meaning when applied to different uh, doers. Can you speak okay. to Okay, sister. First of all, oh no, man. No, no. So, um, now he, want, he wants us to move forward with the question. Yeah. F sorry, with the conversation. Yeah. You already kind of, uh, we already moved forward from that because that is the same point he made it earlier. Yeah. Do you want to kind of just unpack that once, uh, once again for us? Uh, it's a false premise, as we've seen from the grammar. Um, the doer has nothing to do with the verb. The verb doesn't change depending on who does it. He um, he makes the point about uh, yarghab. Um, uh, he says that yarghaban uh, is being deceptive. The word yarghab means to want or desire, but the uh, in the other one it's yarghaban, which means to turn away from. It's two words together, not one. So uh, he's just using it because he knows that you don't you wouldn't hear the difference because you're not Arabs. Um, but it again being deceptive. Uh, by the way, Hatun, your your English is fine, and you made a perfect point. Um, <laughs> you made. I don't, worry, I don't get offended with those things. No, no, seriously, you made the perfect, the perfect, the perfect point of the the the, the God of that that revealed this. Didn't he know that it would be a, a point of confusion if he uses the same word to pray and worship? Remember, he he cares who he cares that he's the only one to be worshipped. Yeah. And he uses the same word of pray and worship to mm. apply to himself. I mean, that he should have avoided that completely and used a different, like I say, a different verb. The Arabic language is full of verbs. Yeah. yeah. So uh, in the past, uh, I think it was Daniel I discussed. Maybe I might be wrong. We we talked about, let's say, me and Daniel are. We are saying I and Daniel went to shop. Yeah. So verb is went. Okay, but what I am expecting you to understand is I went to shop, mm. Daniel bought the shop. So they are like, <laughs> that, that's I mean, what's happening. If, I mean, if it sounds like, it, for any, even non Arab speakers, if it sounds like nonsense and it smells <laughs> like nonsense, then it, it's nonsense. Okay, yeah. so since this part is identified as nonsense and his statement has been discredited 
from Islamic teachings. Now we can move forward. Yeah. Okay. The question we ask is that word is sunnah used for Allah and angels. You said it's different when it's applied for Allah and angels. Can I stand in the middle? Say, let me stand in the middle. Is it that the meaning changes when it's applied to Allah and angels? So, so you have an answer. You have an answer. Okay. You have an answer according to Islamic sources. No, 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 Non-Islamic, yeah. You're, so you're answering it from a non-Islamic source. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. not from Islamic source. Both Islamic and non-Islamic. So give me the Islamic source yeah, yeah. that says this is Sunnah, no, this word, yes. when it's used for Allah, yes. and when it's used for the angels, yes. it's different. Okay, there's a hadith in it. Yeah, sure, sure. Let's, let's get it out. Yeah, let's get so it out. Hadith in Bukhari. Yeah, yeah, that's the reference. In the 21st century. Yeah, so I, I'm sure you've ever seen you use a reference. Let, let's get the reference out. Sorry, so so give us the reference. Give us the reference. So 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 what, what, what is it? Give us. Yeah. I'm going to give you best better scholar. No, no, we want give us, to give us what is the reference of the so we can just so take it out. Uh, so, okay, so Allah says, whoever. No, no, what is the reference? So there are 7,000. 299 Bukhari Hadith there, okay? Actually, I think there are 7,295. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry about that. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway. So which one is this one? Okay, so so give, give us the reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Book number one, hadith number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Give him the goggles. Give him the goggles, sir. Is the goggles just googling out for us? Let's go to shake Google. Give me the reference. I'm going to give you the hadith and then you can find it yourself. No, no, give us the reference. Don't lie, Daniel. You don't have numbers like that. No. Okay, so what is the you do this? You don't have the numbers. In Arabic, you don't have the numbers. In Arabic, you don't have the numbers. Yeah, I'll say it in English, you know that, right? The hadith says that whoever prays upon the Prophet sends prayers on the yani, salutation to someone like that. The salli ala, that salli ala nabi, yeah? whoever sends, says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for example, yeah. that Allah, he mentions him in a mala, in a higher setting. Okay, I'm sorry, can I finish? 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 The hadith, the, hadith says, and then I'll the hadith explains what the word salli means with respect to Allah. It means a thick roof from Mala al A'la. A thick roof from Mala al A'la. That Allah was Mala of Mala al A'la, which means that it is mentioning that person's name in a higher station. So, in other words, it's a, a praising, not praying, but praising that person. So that is a hadith. That you just ask for that Okay. No, 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 no. okay. Um, sister, yeah. Um, where do where do I start with the lies? Um, that has, um, okay. Let's. Just, I think we call them uh, not lies, but intentional deception. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, inconsistent. I, I don't know what to call it. But anyway, I'll call them intentional deceptions. Intentional deceptions. So, um, that hadith doesn't exist. Are you sure? Um, the he the closest I could find to he said exactly whoever prays upon the prophet, Allah mentions him in a higher setting. Right, that's what he said. Yeah. He said the the you know like with the angels. The closest I could find is this this hadith here. Okay. And, and all and all it <coughs> all it says is Allah he says. Uh, I am as my slave expects me to be, and I am with him when he remembers me. If he remembers me inwardly, I will remember him inwardly. And if he remembers me in an assembly, I will remember him in a better assembly, i.e. the assembly of the angels. It's got nothing to do with praying upon the prophet or um, sending salutations to the prophet or anything like that. Or that it doesn't explain the word praying or praising. Yeah, let or me just... Let me just kind of bring up a point. Um, a Dawah team had a uh, chance on the day to yeah. provide us the full reference, okay? Yeah. But full reference never come. He had a time, even the 
he encouraged hacklers to come and join in the conversation so he can get more time yeah. to find the reference, but it never come. Reasoning for that was because Arabic doesn't have the numbers. Well, that's another ridiculous. Can you see here the reference, Arabic reference? Come on, you can't just tell me, you can't just tell me um, he, um, uh, intentionally deceiving. He, the, the guy made up, uh, he made up a hadith on the spot, man. <laughs> that hadith, I went to the libraries, online libraries, uh, Arabic libraries for hadith. Yeah. I, I put in the keywords that he said. And all I got was zero results, zero results, zero yeah. results. All I, I, got was I think, first of all, it, it, it's supposed to be the Dawa team who, who is going to give us the reference. Because you make a claim, you need to back it up. But yeah, the is, yeah. we need to give them the reference. But, but yeah. what happened was, uh, towards the end of the video, another Dawa team member came and then took the Mohammed, Mohammed Ijab away. Yeah, because because he just made up uh, made up his own ref. He just made up a source. This is this is um, the online um, uh, hadith library, the Arabic one. Yeah, these are the hadiths. Can you see what's next to them? What, um, what? I can't see your screen though. All right. So he like um, because he didn't give us the reference, which yeah. like on the principle he needs to give us the reference. Yeah. And sadly, he didn't turn up the speaker's corner since then. Therefore, we can, we, it was difficult for us to keep him accountable for what he said. And one of the things happens here is um, they make a claim and then they are just away for a while until everyone else forgets their claim. Um, uh, it's, yeah. I've never seen this in a debate. Uh, this approach of if you can't find a source, just make one up. This yeah, just... because we don't know Arabic, so he's going to make it up on the spot. Well, well. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Hadith and then see what is the closest we find. Since we couldn't find what he said, what is the closest we find and what does it tell us? Well, he said it's a it's a well known um, Hadith. The bit about the higher assembly is well known. I've heard of that Hadith. But it's just all about remembering Allah. It's got nothing to do with praying on Muhammad. What is he talking about? Like, I'm just incensed. It's it's ridiculous. He may, makes up, he takes the, 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 the second half of the hadith that everyone knows. And then the, the first part, he makes up. He says, whoever prays on the Prophet. It doesn't say that. That doesn't exist. The hadith, he made up a hadith on the spot. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad Hijab, peace be, peace be upon him, said, whoever prays upon the Prophet, Allah mentions him in a higher setting. That doesn't exist. Um, in another intentional deceiving. And, and, and oh, and uh, by the way, the numbers. Yeah, we have numbers. We yeah. have, Arabs are not like this backward civilization that, you know, oh, we don't have number, we're Arab. We have numbers. Arabs have numbers. <laughs> yeah, specifications. Arabs were like getting and uh, making money from the selling people. <laughs> Mohammed was making money from selling people. So he should be mm. able to make a good calculation. And I'm sure, he knew, I'm sure he knew how to count. He said he wants the fifth, the fifth of the of the booties of war. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, okay. His maths should be good, and, and he couldn't read and write. Also, on the other hand, Bukhari was put together 250 years after the death of Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Bukhari should be able to know how to read and write since he traveled all the way from Bukhara, but in somehow um, the hadith he is using doesn't have the numbers. Well, it's, it's he should have just said, look, I don't have the number. I'm going to go and find out. Then at least we can respect him. Not just come up with something out of this world crazy, like we don't have numbers. Obviously, um, what's the word? Um, intentional. Deceiving. Thank you. Intentional deception. <laughs> but to be, to be honest with you, if I was a Muslim in his position, yeah. there is nothing else I would do but protect my religion through deception because this is my identity. 
So I have to cover it up. So what we're saying now is, if you have to cover it up through deception, mm -hmm. then your religion is built on you know, a weak foundation. That's why you need the truth. So you can see deception after deception, because he clearly said that Allah is praying in the debate with, uh, with David Wood. And then later on he's saying, no, I didn't say, I said praise. He's changing his goalposts when he wants to, and he's living off deception, which is very dangerous. That's why you need Jesus. Mm -hmm. The truth. Okay, now let me go back to video again, and then um, play a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> and then are you keeping eye on the chat? Yep. Okay, so let's continue. That sounds like a deviation. Or well, maybe please. why? <laughs> why a diversion? Yeah. Because we yeah. asked you the word you saluna, yeah, it's in there. and you said it's in Sahel Bukhari. Yeah. You did not mention yeah. saluna in your place. response. You okay. mentioned Sali, well, and Allah and his angels, when it's applied to yeah, Allah and his angels, yeah, yeah. being different. Yeah. That's not a question. Listen, um, so it's not like what it does say. I have to be honest with you. You guys are non Arab speakers. Why do you always have to be the Arabs? Don't know about the Arabs. So right now, why do you get so much? If you don't mind me to allow me to be an education, okay? You cannot, you don't have the. The one thing you can't get educated without that. Our question is the teacher. Our question is the teacher. If he doesn't know the question, it's so easy. Ask them to bring it any other Christian missionary like them. And if he found any problem with that. I'm going to make it quite simple. I am going to make it quite simple. Okay, I'm 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 going to make it quite simple. Okay, Dawatim was disappointed with us because apparently we don't know Arabic. Well, Therefore, in this occasion, I am very grateful that I don't know Arabic because as we see, even the Arabic Dawatim who comes from the Arabic country know good enough Arabic, yeah. but chooses to not share what he knows, yet he's intentionally deceiving and bringing more shame and more shame and more shame to it's like, it's like they've got this bone it's like a dog with a bone you know? they, they, when they're in a the corner they don't have anything to say but they know you guys are not arab so oh you're not arab you know you don't understand and walk away yeah, yeah. it's not gonna the, the, these days are over this is not gonna work anymore um someone is saying here praying in arabic means different when it's applied for allah yeah, it's the same. It's the same. same thing, isn't it? He's not even listening to what to what you've been answering. Yeah. Abdi Rahman Musay, that's his name. Yeah. We've already answered you. Go on, daughter of Christ, say it. Uh, you say it better than me. Um, maybe maybe put that in Arabic. So maybe if his English is uh, English is not that good, Arabic can help him, sister. So, Arabic means different when it's applied for Allah. Really. No, it doesn't. Mm. It doesn't. The Arab language has lots of verbs, just like any other language, a different verb for a different action. When uh, I'm thinking this person is Asian, probably, I'm not sure, Southeast Asia. Um, when he goes to pray, what do they call it? Salah, right? I'm going to do my salah. Mm. Where do you think that comes from? Does that come from praising? And remember, the, the people at the, the time of Muhammad didn't really mind that Allah would pray because they remember they come from pagan um, origins. They didn't really find any problem with it. Yeah. Um, but all I can say to that person, um, when we finish with the live stream, go back and pause and replay and look at the dictionaries or go to the library and get an Arabic and English dictionary and look for yourself. Don't stop listening to the <laughs> crazy arguments that make no sense. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna um, take a moment and uh, give the person who called us through Skype um, a bit earlier. I think it was approximately 24 minutes ago. I'm just gonna give call to him and then see if there is any contribution he wants to make to the topic. Is that all right, guys? Yep. Okay, I. Okay, we are just returning the call of Rob Christian from Skype. Hello. 
Hello, Hello. peace of Christ be with you, brother. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. God uh, bless you. Brother, are you giving permission to be recorded because this voice is going to be on YouTube? Yes, sure. Okay. Um, so, um, um, we are talking about um, very good Arabic speaker Dawati members to tell us uh, <laughs> what is Allah and angels are doing. If, you, if you've been watching us, so you know the topic, anything you would like to share with us? Yeah, the thing is about chapter 33, uh, ayah 56, like uh, the Christian lady uh, earlier read, it does really say uh, praying. It has nothing to do with blessing because it says, Inna Allah wa malaikatu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. It says Allah and, the, and his angels are praying on the Prophet. Mm. Uh, if Allah wasn't the worst communicator ever, <laughs> he should have used the word yubariku, right? That, that is the right word for uh, mm. saying blessing. Mm. Here, as it, is, as, you, as it is, as you can read it now in the Quran, it, the only meaning is praying. So when Allah is praying, who is he praying? That's the second question. Mm. Yeah, so we do have the, um, as people who are watching, you can notice, we do have the second Arabic speaker who steps in and tries to help out to Dawatim, especially the Arabic speaking Dawatim, what is the word meaning? Um, brother, are you aware of the um, hadith he's been mentioning on the, um, on the video? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't watch that. But I think, okay. um, with, uh, is it about Sahih Bukhari or what? What uh, hadith uh, are you trying to show uh, me? We are just trying to hunt down the hadith he's been mentioning on the video. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. Um, have you got anything else you want to comment on the topic? Uh, well, like I said, if Allah truly meant to say. Uh, Blessing, he should have used Yubariku, and if he have used that, there would not have been this big confusion. And for the last 1400 years, um, no Muslim can answer this question. To who is Allah praying when he's praying, right? Is he praying to another God? Is he praying to himself? Uh, but we know that simply Allah is the alter ego of Muhammad. Allah doesn't exist. It's the same guy it's muhammad and his alter ego allah that's it basically mm. okay um thank you very that's much for the... that's it. that was good anyone um sister or daniel do you have a question for rob christian uh, yeah i i have a question actually yes uh brother rob christian yes um muhammad Ijab, after his debate uh, against david wood after his debate he used uh, surah 9 103 to say that Mah Muhammad is doing the same thing that Allah is doing. Does that mean Muhammad is worshipping his believers, um, his followers? Because he thought Which that David Wood said Surah, Surah Al-Tawbah 103. 103. Let me go to the Surah. Sister, maybe you can put that up on the, um, on the screen as well. Yeah, I've got it. I, I was just getting it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel, I think I did reply that question to you. Did you? Uh, maybe I wanted an Arabic speaker. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got it here. Okay. Let, um, let's just first hear from Rob Christian, and then I'll pass it to you, sister. It's okay. It's, it's still it's still praying. It's not has nothing to do with blessing. Again, it says was suddenly. Right? Yeah. So it has nothing to do with blessing. The translator, again, is is nothing but a, a liar, a deceiver. It's mm. it's still praying. Uh, it should have been uh, yubariku, like I said, or baraka. That's the right word to use for blessing. Blessing is baraka, and yusalli or yusallu is praying. That's it, uh, brother Daniel. Okay. So it, it really means praying for the, Muhammad. Huh? They can do the rain dance, but praying is sal salli, 
يصلي and blessing is يبارك or بركة. Okay. Thank you, brother. Okay. Thank okay. you, brother. Okay. Thank you for having me. God bless. God bless you. Okay. Um, sister, do you mind look at the Surah 9, verse 103 and make a comment as a Arabic speaker since <coughs> not talk about Islam without yeah. um, our Arabic knowledge? I agree with the brother, the brother Rob Christian. Um, I couldn't have said it better myself. Salawatuka here means your prayers. Uh, doesn't mean your blessing. I've put it in the uh, dictionary, as you can see. Yeah. Salawatuka. The transliteration. And it means your prayers. It doesn't mean your blessings. Your blessings would have been um, barakat or yubarik, like the brother said. Uh, I don't yeah. know how many times we can say it before it sinks in. No, um, I think when you work with the um, Dawa team, you need to say like hundreds, more than hundreds time. Yeah. Uh, and anyway, like if it is, if it is the blessing, still they've got like big issue. Yeah. Why angels are doing the blessing? If it is praises, then still there is a big issue because uh, Surah Fatiha starts with all praises are belong to Allah. Yeah. Um, and Allah in somehow praising the, his prophet is just all messed up. But one of the things um, it might be helpful for to dawah him. Maybe Daniel, that, that can be your homework. You can put something together. Um, we can buy a book which helps people to communicate. Communication skills. You can learn the communication skills. Um, we can pass that to the dawah team. Um, or uh, we can like sign them up for the courses regarding the communication skills they can improve. Mm. Uh, that might be helpful because they, they are... Need... What? No, I just said they need truth. They're in deception, so... Yeah, and if the, for them to get the truth, if they are going to um, hide behind the Arabic and attack <coughs> Allah... Mm -hmm for mm. communication skills. Yeah. We just need to help them out. But even though we know um, only help will come to them or only thing can rescue them from that deception is uh, Lord Jesus Christ. But still, we can help them with the practical steps. Well, the real question is, why does Muhammad need so many blessings and prayers sent to him? Because he was very sinful. He, he was very, very bad guy, like very <laughs> bad guy. According to the Muslim belief, he's perfect, right? If anything, he should be sending blessings to, to the Muslims, not the other way around. Um, but yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a girl, I don't know who that is actually, Mariana, she said, at this is here, ministries, didn't Muhammad Ijab say in the debate with David Wood that Allah prays for, not to? So yes, he did say that in the debate. But he changed his goalpost by saying, I didn't say pray, I said praise, P-R-A-I-S-E. So that's why we're clarifying some things today. Overall, um, it doesn't matter if Allah prays to or prays for. Mm. Uh, probably you are struggling to understand my English as I say praise. I'm talking about the P-R-A-Y one, not the praise mm. one. Okay. Um, um, because Islam talks about the tawhid and oneness or unification of Allah. Mm -hmm. If Allah is praying, mm -hmm. Allah is praising, then Islam has an issue. Mm -hmm. Islam has an issue. For centuries, they've been lying about um, or misleading about Islam to worship um, <coughs> Allah alone. <coughs> but clearly seems Allah is worshipping someone else. And um, Brother Sam Shamun was talking about um, actually who does Allah really worship? Who does Allah really pray to? Mm. And he put together paper regarding Allah does pray to Jesus. That's another topic. Hopefully mm. we can look at that in the future. But Allah shouldn't, Allah shouldn't be praising anyone. All praise should be to him. So even if they're right, he shouldn't be. Well, Allah, you know, like Allah's mood can does change. 
uh, like like pregnant women, their mood changes yeah. in the morning. <laughs> Allah's mood changes quite often as well. So you never know what might come up. Um, anyway, let's go back to the video. Um, do, um, sister, have you got any other comments on the video? Um, just the um, all the uh, intentional the, uh, deceptions. Yeah. Um, as we know that, like brother said, Satan is the father of lies. And if you find that you're having to do that, then you're being used by him, uh, whether knowingly or unknowingly. Mm -hmm. So um, that's you need to turn away. Just turn away from all the lies. Stop using semantics. Stop struggling so much. It's it's bad. Just leave it. It's not good. It's not from God. Mm. What I want to say. Yeah. So th that was another sad day for Arabic speakers. Um, Arabic speaking Dawah team at Speakers Corner. Yeah. Um, so especially when they mention like, I think one of the things we need to be careful is every time if they say like, go and any, um, any Arabic speaking person, that means like, yeah, there is something not right. We need to check that out. Well, hopefully they shouldn't say that anymore now. You've got brother Rob Christian. And yeah. if you need me at any time, I think the days of using that excuse are over. They're going to have to find another way to intentionally deceive. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think for me more sad thing is because as they make those claims in that group we do have Arabic speakers and they just like know and they are okay with it they don't even think about it that is the, that is the sad part of it yeah um, anyway Daniel do we have any question from the chat no so far as what I've said. Okay, then. Um, in that case, we can um, close the evening. Oh, we're not going back to the video. Oh, we finished with the video. Did you have a point to make? Like, how did video end up is another Dawati mem? He couldn't find the reference for us. No, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. We, we, we are here, j j like, we know that it was his responsibility to put the evidence forward. But in somehow... Uh, he didn't do that and when we know he's intentionally deceiving, we just wanted to help him out and then produce the reference. Of course, if uh, the hadith, we find it, if it is not the one he's talking about it, then um, he can bring us the reference and then we can check it. Probably he needs to check the English translation since Arabic doesn't have the number according to him. Mm. Um, so video finishes with another Dawah team to come and take him away from the conversation. Um, and then that was like end of the end of the video, I think. Can I comment on the heckling that happened to you guys? Um, there was a lot of heckling and abuse and intimidation that went on. And um, uh, do you remember some some gentlemen, all the gentlemen with some missing teeth was was heckling you and um, shout yeah. at you and trying to intimidate you. Yeah. Yeah. And and the Dawah team guy just stood there laughing. Um, and what does that mean in Islam? It mean well that well the human thing to do, the gentlemanly thing to do would have been to say no 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 I disagree but we're still going to treat her as a human being. We're not going to have her being she you know you're a woman and this man is intimidating you in your face. And you know, I've, you only see that from one side. You don't see that from you never. You never have some Christian coming when a Muslim's talking and saying Jesus, Jesus, or doing any of that. If if anything, you give them time. You you know, you say stop, let him have their say, and you don't get the same respect back. And that just makes me sad. And um, huckling is okay at speakers corner because it's part of the speakers corner. And it what that's what makes speakers corner unique. Um, but yeah, there are sometimes um, intentional happens. And for example, in this discussion, even though Heckler was trying to help the speaker to give him the time to find the reference, all those things in somehow it didn't work well. Yeah. Yeah, with that uh, toothless guy, he did hit me as well. Really? And I was very shocked. It didn't hurt, but I was like, how come it hurt, Daniel? I told you, you got six packs and it should be okay. He hit me, he hit me here. You can see it. There's no six pack here. 
Anyways, um, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it was shocking, but this is how the Dawa team reacts. It's it's fine. It's like it become nature of speakers corner, sadly. But um, anyway, we are there to preach Christ crucified, uh, defend yeah. Christ, and also keep Muslims accountable for um, for what what do they say? Yeah. Okay, in that case, we are. If there is no question, then we just um, close the evening. Um, sister, um, do you want to just make a conclusion on the uh, what we've done today? So today we had a look at um, the claim that um, there was a hadith that talks about uh, the yusallun, the praying when it's done by Allah and Muhammad. Uh, sorry, by Allah and the angels is different. Uh, we haven't found that hadith. That hadith hadith was made up. We talked about the doer of the verb. Does it change the verb? Um, no, it doesn't. We had a look in the dictionary. Um, the numbering system does exist in the Arabic uh, classification. Um, the numbering system exists for the hadiths, especially the Bukhari hadiths. So we were just going through all those intentional um, deceptions. Okay, so um, thank you very much for helping us. Okay. Um, also, um, Daniel? Thank yeah. you very much for uh, being bridge between YouTube and Hangouts. You are doing amazing. Do you are do doing amazing job. Yeah, yeah. And uh, thank you those who have been moderating. Uh, we really appreciate your help. And also thank you those who have been um, commenting on the chat and watching, listening. Um, for um, those who have been listening, if you are Muslim, Guys, I'm like, you are in a very, very, very wrong path. Yeah. If the if the Arab speaking uh, Arab speakers are correct, as the Quran states that Allah does pray, then you do have an issue. You do have an issue, and that is gonna affect your eternity. Out of the love, as Christians who can't speak Arabic and who can't even speak well English, we step in and then we challenge you. So you can please just go back to videos and then see the, those dictionary, dictionary websites and then hadiths, check it out for yourself. Because conclusion of those debates is affecting individual's eternity. And according to my scripture, your eternity is in danger. According to my scripture, you are not going to spend eternity with God. And that is not a good place to be. And um, those of you who are watching as a Christian, please, if there is anything you can pick it up from this video, pick it up, learn it, and then share it for the kingdom. Because Muslim needs to hear those things. Muslim needs to be kept accountable. If they are kept accountable, then they will, they will, um, they will see the truth. Mm -hmm. And there is only one way, and there is only one truth. That's Lord Jesus Christ. Then we want to do the conclusion, and then I hang up. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I couldn't say any better. You know, the the devil is the father of lies, and he's been lying since. Mm -hmm since the beginning and um, he is the darkness and anywhere there's darkness he will he will run on it islam is full of darkness there's no light in it there's no love mm -hmm. we have the god of love who loves humans and he sacrificed himself on the cross because of love your god is too proud he, that you don't even have a relationship with your god you have a slave to master relationship mm -hmm. that's why you need to come to the true real God that you can be a son and a daughter now and um, be accepted in Christ. So, yeah, Jesus is King of Kings, Lord of Lords. He has his arms wide open. Come and accept him. Again, we do this because we love you Muslims, not because we hate you. God Thank you. you. God bless you all. See you um, at Speaker's Corner or another live stream. Yeah. God bless you. Bye-bye.